What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk once again about Kirby in Scream 5. And this, no matter which way this goes, by the way, this won't be the last time we talk about her in the movie. But, uh, you know, again, depending on how it goes, we could either have a lot of positives or negatives to say. But one thing I do, you know, want to talk about is I've seen, obviously, a lot of people talk about, you know, her as a character. And I've talked about her before, you know, in several videos uh, in the past. I want to go over it and ask the question, you know, what happens if she's not in this movie? Because I've had, I really like the directors. I want to say that first, so that when I, if, if I do bash them in this video, you guys know where I stand. I like the directors. I think they seem like genuine, real fans. I feel like, you know, they're, they're putting this project together out of love. But on the flip side of things, I do just, I can't shake in my head. This is just me being, you know, an honest person. I'm not going to try to hide my, you know, my thoughts from you guys who, you know, hopefully you guys do like the honesty part of me. I would be very disappointed in them if there is zero Kirby whatsoever. Now, do I understand that this movie in a lot of ways is like Scream 1? Like they're focusing on Scream 1 like Scream 1 existed and not really anything else. Yes, I understand that. I think it makes sense. I don't love the fact that they're, you know, it seems like they'll probably forget two through four. Obviously, they happen. Like, we're not, you know, we're not pretending like they didn't happen. But in terms of, like, what the focus is, they're not the focus. I understand that. However, you know, you talk about how much you love Wes Craven. You talk about his legacy. You, know, you write Nev Campbell the letter that we've heard 50,000 times. All great. They've even talked about multiple times, including on the Discord Q&A live stream, that they're massive fans of Kirby. You know, I think I believe one of them said like, "What if if you were a character, you would uh, who would you be?" And they said like a, a Kirby Randy type. So they love Kirby. That that is you know been said. We also know by the way they followed Hayden Panettiere, I believe on Instagram right around the time of reshoots for the movie. Great. <laughs> At the same time though, right? If it doesn't happen, what does that mean? What does that say? Now here's the thing. There's been leaks. For the movie. We've talked about them in a lot of those videos. I don't like to bring them into videos that are more like speculation because they kind of ruin it, right? So I guess I won't say what people have said, but you could find it if you want on Kirby, whether she's in it or not. But it has been said. You can take it how you want, whether it's true or false. You can take it how you want if you want to read it or not read it. I won't force you know any of that on you. But what I will say again is I would be pretty disappointed if there's no mention. Appearance? Eh, I get it. I get it. It's been another 10 years. Funny enough, though, as I've said, what's interesting and kind of odd, but maybe just the way it worked, Melissa Barrera is 31. She was 30 when they filmed. Funny enough, Hayden Panettiere just turned 32, like, very, like recently. So, like, the new cast, I get it's, like, Tara and, or I guess, like, Jenna Ortega's character, right? And she's the youngest by a lot. But you have Dylan Minnette and, like, you know, that whole, even, like, Jack Quaid, although Jack Quaid, I think, is, like, 27, 28, right? So, but you have these characters. But funny enough, like, Melissa Barrera is almost exact. Like, if she's the new Final Girl, if she's the new Sydney, she's the same age. <laughs> you know, if they did it 10 years ago, they could have had her, you know, as Jill or, or Kirby and what it. So, I have, I've always found that, you know, kind of interesting. And honestly, it's in that way that I don't feel like it's all that much of a stretch to just bring her back. You know, if obviously, if she wants to do it and you can find a way, um, you know, to do it or a way that makes sense, why not? I would also say, too, while appearance maybe isn't necessary, of course I'd like it maybe like an after credit scene or something. That would be really cool, even though I doubt we get that. Mention. Mention. I really like, you know, when they... You're just kind of saying it out loud. So, you know, the fact is, again, they're focusing on one, and I'm not saying you have to, like, name drop characters in, like, two and three. I don't really know if that makes sense. I don't even know... If you would do that, who would you name? Like, would you name drop Cotton for some weird re like what's what would be the reason for that? So, like, sure, it doesn't always make sense. But I feel like, you know, you care about again, I'm just repeating myself because I really don't know how else to kind of deliver it. You care about Wes's stuff so much, you know, I think it's a pretty well known fact, right? Kirby's Kirby is alive, or at least she was designed to survive for. Whether it was in the version we got in which you do see her move and she's still alive as the last thing you see uh, you know see of her or you know west behind the scenes and like the director's commentary or him on twitter all those signs are very much you know she's not dead she's alive even what we see though she's also still alive so i just kind of feel like it would be 
insulting. And that's why, again, I, I, I mean this, but I don't mean this because I don't want to bash the directors, especially if we haven't seen the movie. And maybe she's in it, and then maybe I have nothing bad to say. But, like, you know, for how much they love the franchise and love Wes and love Nev and love, you know, Hayden Panettiere and love Kirby as a character, to just let this whole movie go and, like, are we going to... Are we going to, like, pretend she's dead? Are we going to acknowledge that she lives? And you don't need much of that at all. As I've said multiple times, in fact, the very first time I think I talked about her character, I said something as simple as, like, a picture, and then somebody just, like, mentions her name. is as easy as it can get. Maybe it's a little forced, because maybe you have to force it a little bit because it's a character that doesn't jive with what you're doing right now. But, I mean, just to kind of give people... I don't know. I like the continuity. I like the idea that these are... Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm like a stickler. Maybe it's like an OCD thing. But, like, I like the idea that it's just, you know, it's a continuity thing. And, like, these characters are supposed to be... I mean, obviously, they're aware. They're a very aware group of people just in general uh, in, in terms of, like, meta and just kind of being smarter than your average characters in a horror movie. But, like, I don't know. I feel like there should be a little bit of... Uh, respect is one word right but also just like acknowledgement of what's come in the past and if she's like alive well shouldn't you say something about that or I, I don't know I don't know because then the thing is this here's the final thing I'll say right the movie ends let's say and she's not in it at all you'll still have the people that say she's alive or dead you're it's still gonna happen in fact it'd be one of the main things people again maybe even the same as Stu. really they're in a little bit of a conundrum but like for Stu. You either leave it or you don't, but it's so long ago, right, 25 years. But, like, with her, she's still young. She was in the last movie, at least as of right now, right? So, like, she's still more recent. And so she'll be around in terms of, like, oh, you know, Stu's not dead. Kirby's not dead. Like, you'll still have her, you know, around. So, and, and another thing is, like, you can address that. You can address her. For Stu, it's a lot more difficult, as we've talked about, right? Bringing him back has its pros, has its cons. Not bringing him back has its pros, has its cons. And, and one of the main cons of, of either side, right, is like, well, maybe he's really dead. And like you could, they wrote it seemingly in that way where he was dead. The only reason why he would be alive is because of Wes's idea or the idea for Scream 3. You know what I mean? To have him, to have him survive. But that's like a late addition. The thing with Kirby is in the moment, she's alive. In the moment, they knew that she was not going to die. You know what I mean? So, like, that's, in my opinion, that's different. And it's easier to bring her back. Way easier. So, I don't know. I, I would say, again, without seeing the movie, so you can't, you can't say too much. And I can't get too aggressive or mad, even though maybe that's what I'm doing. I would be severely disappointed if the movie goes by and there is zero mention of her character, of her name. I mean, again, just give us her name. Just say her name and make it, you know, connect it that she's alive. Because as long as you do that, you've satisfied people in the way that you've given somewhat closure to four. By the way, you don't actually even have to bring her back. As long as you say she's alive or dead, you at least close that, you know, chapter. And then you could, if you want to bring it, you know, if you want to open the book for chapter two, you can do that. You yourselves can do that. You know what I mean? But you, you can't do it until you, you know, finish the last part of it. So I would be, I would be, I would say severely disappointed i get it and i feel like that's gonna be one of the main things right if she's not in it and people like me or i know like critical overlord he he, he likes her a lot right like if we make these videos i could see people saying you know it has nothing to do with five like why would but like again i understand that i understand she's not you know part of five and, and four you know is, is in a way i think being largely ignored but like i just i don't think that's good enough i feel like what i'm asking for is not to insert her as final girl number two. I'm not expecting her, you know, and people have said this, and hopefully, maybe it's comedic, maybe they actually want it, and that's fine. You know, I don't want her to, like, when Sydney opens the door at Stu's house, right, with a gun and she's checking her around the house, I don't want Kirby, like, to come in behind her. You know, like, I, like who's asking for, like, me? you know, that would be cool, sure, but, like, would I be asking for that? No, I'm not asking for her to be the final girl that saves the day in the third act. No, I'm just asking for a little bit of somewhat closure or not closure a little bit more openness you know of her character so again we'll have to see what happens and uh it will not be the last time we talk about her because we'll talk about her maybe one final time um after scream 5 releases so let me know what you guys think in the comments below make sure as always you guys are subscribed to the channel hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up if you want to follow me over on twitter or subscribe to my second channel or support us on patreon or youtube memberships links always are in the description below Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all on the next video.